okay, I gotta, give me one second. I gotta go water my plants. I'll be right back. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shinaria, and of course, this is Shinaria's Trial and Errors. My life has always seemed like a trial and error. Everything that I did in my life, it seemed like I'd try and fail and have to try again and figure out something else. When I was first thinking about doing a YouTube channel, trial and errors always came to my mind because anytime I had a problem in life, I would run to YouTube. I would come straight to YouTube and just be like, okay, well, let me see how I can figure this out. YouTube has taught me more about life than school ever has. Cheers to that. Let me just quickly grab a coaster. I'm not an animal. Today, I just have a quick haul for you guys. I am fully vaccinated and my 14 days from the vaccination is up. So I decided to go and do a little bit of shopping, shopping outside. I have not been outside shopping in, I cannot tell you the last time. So let me just say that the lineup are super long for popular stores. Zara, it's ridiculously long. H&M wasn't that long, which is why I went over to H&M because I was in line for Zara and I just got bored and I realized that H&M across, I went to Young Street and I realized that there's no line over there for H&M. So I was like, all right, let me go see what H&M has. I also at the time just decided to stop by Sephora because I will be traveling a lot in the next few weeks. Look out for those um, videos. They're kind of a little bit of a surprise videos about where I'm going. I have four vacation planned for this summer. So definitely, definitely take a look out for those. Let's get into it. We are going to start off with this little bag that I got from Zara. My upper lip is sweating like scrap all of that i am showered fresh first we are going to try on this i just picked this up okay so also for anybody who does not know the changing rooms in zara are closed changing rooms in h&m were closed as well just be aware that you're not gonna be able to try anything on okay so let's try and figure this out when i picked it out i wasn't sure if it was gonna fit because it is a size small I tend to go for more on the medium side. What's this? I think this is a string. I'm just gonna loop, swoop, and pull. Okay. Oh, I'm not mad at it. It's cute. Definitely gonna keep this. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Yes, it's giving me summer. It's giving me vibrant. It's giving me color. Definitely gonna keep this one for sure. That's the material up close. Looks really nice. I'm definitely not mad at it. I kind of wish that there, that this string right here was up here instead. That way it can keep the laps off, but nope, the girls are secure. Oh my gosh, I love this. I definitely did not expect to love this as much as I'm loving it right now. It is given. It is given everything it said it was supposed to get. It's gonna look super cute with some jean shorts. Actually, hold on. Pull out some pom pom printers. Ah! Yes! Look a nice, like, even beach party vibes. I am definitely feeling it. I'm feeling the cut in the back. I love it. I love the low cleavage part. Gonna, you know. Put some nice accessories on it but it is definitely a keeper and it is definitely definitely super cute Ugh, these buttons are taking forever ridiculous amount of buttons for some shorts so i did also end up getting these shorts from zara i like the pocket the pockets kind of stood out to me be be Although I don't know if it's drawing too much attention to this, like to my cut, my crease. The top is cute as well. I love the detailing on the top. I have a lot of plain white tank tops, so I like having a nice, you know, some nice little detail on the side. I love how the back looks. I have no idea why that took so long to get on, but I like it. Nice, simple, we'll definitely go with some jean shorts, which was my aim, or even what I'm wearing right now. Really love it. Love the material. It's just simple cotton, but it feels like it's not gonna, you know, just fall apart after you wash it. The material looks nice, the cotton looks nice. It feels like good quality. 
This one was not on sale. I bought it regular price. I think it was just like, correct me if I'm wrong. I cannot see the price tag back there, but I think it was $10. Nice. As for this top, I did buy something to wear underneath it. Um, I did go and pick up some stuff from H&M, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got from H&M, okay? This top was a part of the reason why I picked up the white one in H&M. I mean, sorry, Zara. I bought this top because remember I said I ran over to H&M because there was no line. I bought a couple of these at H&M for $14 each, so when I saw the white one at Zara for 9 bucks, I knew I just had to pick up a couple of those as well. I love the color that this is. It's like a... It's not white, it's an off beige. The same as this that I bought. I'm gonna try it on over it and see how that works. Yeah, it's cute, I like it. I feel like it's gonna come in handy, even if I don't wear it this summer. Yeah. Although it is kinda gimme granny-ish. I think that's it for the Zara stuff, so now we're gonna get started on the H&M bag. Let's just throw it all out, we're just gonna I literally just pinched myself. This is the skirt. Eh, I don't know. Originally, I thought that these were like real buttons. I didn't take in that they were fake buttons that they were sewn on, and then there's a zipper at the side. I like it, but I'm not sure if I love it. So I might return the skirt. Although it is really cute. I definitely got this top, this type of top in a few different colors. I am loving this color. I'm loving the green. Originally, I got the green to go with the skirt. It looks way better than the top I was wearing it with before. And it makes me definitely, most definitely love the skirt even more. With the skirt, it just, it gives it a little, a little oomph. No, actually, I forgot. I bought the top to wear with these bottoms, with these biker shorts. I like the set. I don't really like how I only stitch like the front. Like these, when they do it like this, when they only stitch the front and the back and they don't stitch the entire thing down, so this ends up becoming like a whole flip up thing, it is my arch nemesis. I freaking hate that. Some runners, a jeans jacket, obviously I'm gonna say it a million times, that's my thing. So, super cute. I love it, keeping this. Happy birthday, Mr. President. I saw this dress and it was $14, so I decided to just pick it up and you know, see what $14 is worth. I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. No, actually, I'm lying. I do like the sweetheart neckline and I like the fact that it's wired. So there's a wire in it, so it's gonna keep it nice and firm. I'm not really big on yellow. I don't wear a lot of yellow, but I gotta say because I've been tanned, because I've been spending so much time outside, that this is, this is nice. I like the way it's making my skin look. It's a no. It's a no. It's a most definite no. So next we have this romper set and it's just, it's horrendously no. Jeez Louise. I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. Maybe if I take off these straps, if I take off the straps and just, you know, just wear it just like that. It's a no. It's not what I was envisioning. This is the last item from H&M. Um, I really love it. I'm definitely gonna keep it. Once I saw it, I knew, you know, I knew it was super cute. It's gonna look very nice with some jean shorts. The back is like, it's a cute little crisscross thing going on with it. And it's a little bit hard to get into, but I love it. Nice, cottony, simple, very nice. I don't have any complaints or anything to really say about it. It's pretty self-explanatory. I think it was about $19. Yeah, so $19.99 and this one is definitely a keeper. Here is my little Sephora bag. You ever wonder how you go into Sephora and you drop like maybe $200 and walk out with a little ass bag like this? It's ridiculous. My skin has been peeling like crazy. I don't know what's going on. I've never had this problem with my skin before, but my skin like right here and here on my forehead have been peeling like crazy crazy so i picked up some hydration masks i've heard very good things about them i'm gonna use one tonight second i got this sephora and i don't know what it is the girl in the store highly recommended it 
It's for dark spots. So I'm getting a lot of pigmentation, a lot of dark spots. She said it works in generally about three weeks. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's in French and there's barely any instructions. Laura Mercier translucent powder because I go super hard for this, okay? Like super, super, super hard for this. With me traveling as much as I'm going to be traveling in all these hot ass places, this is a must have, okay? It will keep everything locked in there so my makeup is not shifting everywhere. I also like, originally what I went there for was for some NARS contour. So normally I buy the bigger ones, but when I got there, I realized that they have travel size, again. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling this summer and I personally do not plan on checking my bag at any given point. I don't want my bag lost because of some of the places I'm going to be traveling. They're trying to charge like $147 for a checked bag. Guess what? It's summertime. I can roll everything up in the suitcase and put it there. So I decided because I'm going to be traveling and because I have a limited amount of space, to just go ahead and try out these minis. I hope they're as good as the big ones. If they're not, I'm gonna be very disappointed. But yeah, that's basically kind of just what I got from Sephora. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.